we about to get this party started. I believe we about to get this party started. What's going on, guys? We about to get this party started. Yes, today's podcast for January 4th, 2020. How is your 2020 so far, man? How is it so far? Mine, I I can say my 2020 started off good. It actually did. It it did. It it started off good. But I could tell you right now that I'm I'm feeling some kind of way because yesterday was just just a plain horrible horrible day. What's going on guys? Lockout men in the truck on the 30 for this podcast today. What is up, man? How how y'all doing? What's going on out there? Yo, I appreciate you guys showing up and showing out for the podcast this evening. Now, I wonder I know you guys is wondering like, yo, why you keep saying podcast? <laughs> Ain't this ain't this a video lockout? This is a video. I know this is a video. This this is a podcast video because I am uploading my podcast to anchor.fm backslash lockout men. And you can find me on all platforms. Let me let me go back. Look, Anchor, Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcasts, uh I think I will be uploading on iHeartRadio podcast and and several others, but majority of them, I, I'm on basically all of them. So every time I do a podcast, I upload it. So if you guys don't have time to watch the video, as y'all can see, y'all can listen to the podcast. Hook a brother up. You know what I'm saying? I want to just thank everybody for showing up and listening or showing up and watching. I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Well, as as I always, I always figure out what to talk about throughout the day. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm on Facebook. I'm on I'm on the news. I'm on YouTube. And you know, a lot of things that that comes to mind as I'm as I'm listening to other podcasts and I'm listening to, you know, YouTube as, you know, as I'm driving down the way. And then when I go on my break, you know, a little 15 minutes break here or when I go and fuel in a fuel island, you know, I take that time to go over some news that's going on in the world. You know what I'm saying? I don't just talk trucking. You know what I'm saying? I talk news, but majority of it is trucking related. So. I guess I'm a trucking channel, I guess. Not to say that I'm not. I used to say that I'm a lifestyle channel, but you guys is not coming here for the lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? You guys is not coming here for the lifestyle. If I talk, if the grass is green and the skies is blue, y'all not interested in that stuff. You guys is interested in what y'all come here to see, and that's the truck topics so let me start off by saying that i did put a hold on hold on right quick let me uh uh, bring it up i did put a post in my community in in my community post so let me uh switch that go back to that hit that click on that and then click on that again go back hit that right there i'm coming i'm coming i'm coming you know get get just give me a minute just give me a minute boom click on that and uh and bring this up right here and let's uh let's switch to it let me let me make sure i hit the right button hold on is that the right button there we go that's the right button right there i just love the way that i got this set up so i can switch off and everything we interrupt our program to bring you this important message 
Yes, sir. This is Lockout Man sending a shout out to Trucking Soon. Yes, that's their name, Trucking Soon. I appreciate you commenting in the last video. And if you guys want to get hit up in the next video, all you got to do is like the current video, like it, and then in the comment section somewhere, just hit me up with the hashtag shout out. And maybe you'll get hit up in the next video too. That shit is crazy, right? Anyway. So, for next week's uh, call videos, you know what I'm saying? This is how I'm going to do it this year. I'm going to take suggestions, as I've been doing. I'm going to post maybe about, maybe about five, maybe four or five suggestions. And, I mean, four or five companies that's suggested by different people. So, for the first call, I have put out... I have put out this uh, this suggestions list, and so far, it looked like you guys want me to call night transportation, but it's close. It's between Etz Estates and night transportation. Uh, let's see. J and J is suggested by Daryl Purdy Brothers. Suggested by Don Scott Lynn Transport. Now I am interested in that because it's a Canada based. Uh, trucking company but they do have um they do have some terminals here in america uh that's suggested by bit papa bit papa the trucker night transportation suggested by actually two people but renee and estates suggested by trucker black so far i got seven percent for j uh j and j Four percent for Purdy Brothers. Look like you guys is not interested in that. Uh, the same thing with uh, Scott Lynn. I am interested in Scott Lynn, so I, I make I'm. It's still a close one. Y'all might not know who I will call next week. Uh, night transportation with forty four percent, and estates with forty two percent. So you guys still got it to get it in, and then. Tune in next week, probably Wednesday. Wednesday, you know, will be the will be the uh, season opening, uh, season four opening. I'll make the call. Find out who I'll call. Make sure you hit that bell notification to get notified, and you guys can see who I call. But I will be doing this uh, throughout the year. So get your guys' suggestions in. I'll put it in the poll. I'll put it up in the community post to see who you guys want me to call next. So, you know. And you know what? Something about this community, the community poll, the, the community right here, I, I like it a lot. But, you know, when I, when I post something, I really don't get that much of a feedback from it. You know what I'm saying? Like, here's my girl right here. She re she reposted her video, and I I put this out to to you guys. I got nothing, nothing. I got one like. Let's see. I got some suggestions right here, but it's like it's it's more like if I ask a question, you guys, you know, would would gear towards more the questions than me actually posting something i guess i don't know i don't know i don't know but anyway get your suggestions in for the next calls and that's what i'm going to start doing all right so let's get into this uh let's get into the topic of the day so i was listening this morning to uh uh to a youtuber do doing this uh autonomous test on the tesla vehicle and and the tesla driverless car actually got pulled over by a cop and that got me to thinking and as i'm thinking let me let me show you the video that i'm talking about just go ahead and uh just go ahead and play this video right quick all right as you guys can see ain't nobody driving the car But watch what happens. Now see, the Tesla, let me let me stop it. Let me let me stop it. 
let me stop it right quick. As you already see, the Tesla ran the stop sign. You see what I'm saying? It ran the stop sign. So I'm about to finish and I'm about to ask a question. All right, so, so the Tesla didn't even know that it was a cop car behind him. He thought it was another car, just another car behind him, and that's why it started to move. What do I do? Shit. All right, that's not good. The uh, police officer just pulled over the, the Tesla. It ran the stop sign. Funny moment in three, two, one. <laughs> now this is the view from the inside. Now, as you guys saw that the cop, here he comes, coming around the... <laughs> yeah. Your car? Yes. <laughs> What's going on, man? Uh, yeah. You know what ran the stop? Um, yeah. Here we go. I didn't want to stop sign. Yeah, I know. I just don't know how uh, how I do that. It's uh, so the car you can summon it. Yeah. And uh, so it's like a new feature from Tesla. That like if you were in a shopping center, you can bring the car to you. But it, apparently, it doesn't have a stop. Didn't work that out yet. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't know who to write the ticket to. So. Well, I wasn't driving. So with that said, with that said, of course, I got my trusty notes right here. So you guys know that autonomous trucks are coming, right? Autonomous, autonomous trucks are coming. They, they already here. They're already being test driven throughout the United States. So in my mind, it got me to think. All right. Now, it's, the cop just said. You know, the car just ran a stop sign. And the dude just said, yo, I'm not driving. And the cop is like, okay, well, I don't know who to write the ticket out to. So that got me to thinking about the semi-truck. What if, all right, what if, and, and this is just what ifs. So the autonomous, you know, the driver, set the truck up he's on the highway he set the truck up for uh auto cruise or autopilot and i guess that's what it's called now he sets the truck up for autopilot and the truck is driving the driver then decides to get up out of the driver's seat and either get into the passenger seat or go to the back or go to the back and kick his feet up so the truck is driving, of course, it's, it's in autopilot. What if the truck is pulled over for any reason? It could be pulled over for a DOT inspection, could be pulled over for improper lane change, it could be pulled over for impeding traffic, could be pulled over for speeding, it could be pulled over for a number of things. When the cop comes up to the truck and sees that nobody's driving, how whose fault is that for whatever the truck is doing who is the responsibility lies upon does it lies upon the driver or does it just or does it just do what this guy did and just say hey i don't know who to write the ticket out to you know what i'm saying does it fall upon upon the driver that you know 
that he's supposed to be still in the driver's seat? What if he's back here in the back? You know what I'm saying? What, answer that. Somebody answer that for me in the comments below. What if the the truck is pulled over for whatever reason? Now, what about DOT? What happens? Oh, my God. So what about scale houses? The scale house lights is flashing. Dude is in the back. Uh, dude is in the back seat or in the back bunk or whatever, kicking up his feet, watching TV, playing PlayStation or whatever, and the truck blows past the scale house. Whose fault is that, or where the re or where the responsibility lies upon? You know what I'm saying? You get pulled over by DOT, and the DOT officer comes up to the truck and be like, "Oh, you wasn't driving the truck, so how do I write out the ticket?" Who do I write the ticket to? That th those th those are questions now, because autonomous cars and trucks are here, and those are big questions now. Now I'm about to segue into something else a little bit, but work uh, bear with me here. What if? What about oh, not not what if? What about driver e logs? Now, if the truck is driving and you're not, are you technically off duty or um, technically not on the clock? Does the does the truck get a clock? Does does the truck get get a clock for whatever time that the truck is driving? I mean, I mean, look, my fault. If these like like questions that just comes, you know, that just comes in this head of mine, I don't know, but. Does the truck get a clock? Are you off duty while the truck is driving? If you in the back, how that's going to work? You're going to have to go into sleeper berth and the truck is driving. And then once the truck gets off the highway and you got to take it back over, you you come back on the clock. How that's going to work about, I mean, how that's going to work with e-laws. So if the truck is driving its own clock, does that mean that your clock is still safe? Does that mean that you get a full 11 hours to drive? How how is that chopped up? And how is that chopped up? That's what I want to know. Do you go off duty while while the truck is in motion? By I mean when you put it on auto cruise, how that's going to work? What about if the truck is involved in an accident? Now there has been many accidents with autonomous cars and autonomous trucks. So this is this is a video of such accident. Now I want to tell you guys this fit this footage is distractive to some. It may be if it's not, I don't believe it's offensive, but it is kind of graphic. So, but it's not graphic enough to like <gasps> a shock and all, but you'll see when I, you, you'll see what I mean. Right there. You see that? All right. Here's the interior view. Okay, now let me let me rewind it and play it again so I can so I can get you guys feedback. Now mind you, this this happened, this accident happened. Now I I know um I know I'm um uh, I'm a little late, but this particular accident happened last year. Um uh, no, year before last. I believe that accident happened in twenty 18 so if you guys haven't seen that video or is not hip to the accident this accident happened uh back up in 2018 now this is a shot outside bam right there and this is a shot of the interior
So, whose fault is that? Let's go right here. All right, so right here, it says right here that Uber, and that's that's the uh, that's the autonomous car. But it says Uber not cr criminally liable in death of a woman hit by self-driving car. After a thorough, after a very thorough review of all the evidence pre I mean, uh, presented, this office had determined that there is no bias for criminal liability for the Uber Corporation. It's, I mean, arising from this, from this matter. So the young lady Elaine Herzberg, forty-nine, was walking a bicycle across the road at night when she was fatally struck by a Volvo SUV outfitted with the Uber self-driving system in March of 2018. The car had a human operator behind the wheel, but it was in computer control mode at the time of crash. In the six seconds of impact, uh, before the impact, the self-driving system classified the pedestrian as an unknown object, then as, then as a vehicle, and then as a bicycle. A preliminary, a preliminary report from the National Transport, I mean Transportation Safety Board, explained. So my, my here we go. So it was a lot of wrong in that video. A lot. It was. A, I don't know. I, I'm not sure that that was the right call by the prosecutor, because there was a lot of wrongs in that video. Let's start with the let's start with the cyclists. All right, number. Let's start with the cyclists. Number one, the cycle the cyclists didn't have no PPE gear on. You know, personal protection gear. No, no flashlights. No lights. No, no uh, safety gear. No nothing. And the and the and the bicyclists just popped out of nowhere. I mean, seriously, if you look at the footage, if you look at the footage, the, the cyclist just popped out of nowhere, like pain. Like it just it's, it's like the, the cyclist just appeared there. All right. So no PPE, no flashlights, no reflectors, no nothing. It was a dark street. You see what I'm saying? The street was dark. Here's I'm about to bring that picture back up. So the street was dark, no personal protection, no nothing. So how could the autonomous car, how could the autonomous car recognize that as anything? You see what I'm saying? How could it recognize that as anything? It is number one, it's dark. And the sensors maybe may not been uh, sensitive to its surrounding. All right. So maybe if, if she had on some PPE gear, maybe some reflectors, maybe some lights, you know, maybe when the when when it would it caught it, maybe the car would have slowed down or came to a stop or would have avoid the accident altogether. But unfortunately, she didn't have nothing on. And and she was like it said in the statement that she was like 20 feet away from the from the crosswalk. So that was wrong in itself right there now let's talk about the car itself let's talk about the autonomous car the autonomous car is running off of sensors it's in autopilot so it's it's only running off sensors it can't tell uh whether or not you know it can't tell nothing whether or not that if anything was in front of it maybe if the sensors would have caught a flashing lights or or the safety gear or whatever the case, then maybe the car, like I said, in, in you know, when I was talking about the biker, it would have stopped. It would have slowed down. It would have came to it would have came to a stop. All right. Let's talk about the driver. Now, of course, the of course, the driver was not driving the vehicle. OK. How is that going to be a responsibility? The driver was not driving the vehicle. 
But here's where all the wrong in that video. Here's where all the wrong in that video was. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can go back. Okay. Yeah, I, I can't go back. Here we go. So right now, she's not paying attention. She's being distracted. She's either on Facebook, Twitter, or or texting or doing something. But all in all, she's she's not paying attention at all. She's being distracted. Now here's my here's my thing. Why are you on the phone or being distracted at night? You see what I'm saying? At night. That's where you're supposed to be the most focused at. At night. You're you're driving your car and you're on the phone or doing whatever, whatever. And you just say, okay, what the hell? It's in auto cruise. The car knows what to do. But you're in a two, you, it looks like a two lane, uh, looks like a two lane street. Uh, looks like a, let me see. Hold on right quick. Trying to bring it back. Okay, there it is. So looks like. She's in the two lane street going down, you know, going down the road or whatever. And it's dark. Still, you supposed to be paying. You supposed to be paying attention. You are supposed to be paying attention to to whatever. You're not being distracted. So if the driver of the driverless car was paying attention then she probably would have saw the pedestrian or the bicyclist and she would have stopped and avoid the accident. All right. So how, how can you, how, this is what they're going to have to work out. They're going to have to work out something. They, the law is going to come together and, and figure out something. Somebody has to take responsibility, even though the car is driving itself, driving autonomously. And, you know, you're you're just there. You somebody going to have to take responsibility for if the car does something. You know what I'm saying? We we there's laws for, you know, for responsibility like. If your kid is out is out at night or something like that, the responsibility lies on the parents and the parents get in trouble. Same thing with the same thing with the car. Should the company be should the company be liable for it? I believe so. I believe Uber should have been liable for that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, like I said before, maybe, you know, that that the driver wasn't driving the car. And like you guys seen in the first video, when the guy said, when when the guy said what he said, I didn't want to stop. Sorry. Yeah, I know. I just don't know how uh, how I do that. It's uh, so the car you can summon it. Yeah. And uh, so it's like a new feature from Tesla. That like if you were in a shopping center, you can bring the car to you, but it, right. it doesn't look based on. Work that out yet? Yeah. All right. Well, I don't know who to write the ticket to, so. Well. He said, I wasn't driving the car. And the cop was like, huh, who am I going to write the ticket out to? Somebody got to take responsibility. I'm just saying. So autonomous trucks are coming. There's a, there's a lot of blame to be passed on in, this, in, in that situation, in that, uh, in that Uber situation. There's a lot of blame to be passed on. But, of course, you know, just this year, the court said that Uber wasn't liable, so they they dodged a bullet. I'm not sure if the people is still going after them civic, uh, civil, uh, uh, a civil case, which I do believe that they're going after them. Somebody got to take liability for that young lady's death. So, but again, as far as the Uber driver that night, yeah, you're at night. You you was in all kinds of wrong. 
I mean, what if what if we was drive? What if you was driving? Then that would have been your response. That, that still would have been your responsibility. So even if you wasn't driving, then that's still you're responsible for that car and for whatever the car does, right? I don't know. I I don't know. I don't know. Give me a second. Who's responsible? Let me know. Let me know. Well, that is it for On The 30 Today, today's podcast for January 4th, 2020. I really do appreciate you guys coming coming on board with me and you know spending time with me giving me your ear i really do appreciate it you guys want to hook up with the podcast it is anchor.fm backslash lockout men make sure you go ahead and jump on that if you have ipad or itunes i'm on you know i'm in itunes if you have spotify i'm in spotify all you got to do is look up lockout men and boom there you have it there you have it Yo, don't forget to hook a brother up with some coffee. I'm burning up in here. I need something to drink. I need something to drink. Thank you very much. I am your host, Lockout Man. I really do appreciate everything you guys done, do, and will do in the future. Until next time, y'all. Thank you very much. I will come back with uh I will come back. I will come back at you guys. Well, wait, wait, wait. My fault. I forgot to do my spiel. Hold on. Let me bring that back. I forgot to do my spiel. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. Lockout, man. And I am out. I like that. Keep it clear.